Hi everyone, and welcome to Crazy for Carly. What's the four? I cover fitness, fashion, food, and fun on my channel. But today I have a one hour fitness class for you, and we're going to include a four minute warm up, a 12 minute walking cardio, a 20 minute walking cardio, a 15 minute walking cardio, which totals about 47 minutes of cardio, and then we're gonna cool it all down with a 10 minute cool down stretch. So please make sure you stay around for the cool down stretch. Very important after all that cardio. As always, I appreciate if you could like, comment, share, and subscribe. It helps me build my channel and know what you like. And it also makes me feel good. Uh, today, all you're gonna need are a pair of running shoes and some water to stay hydrated. So when you've got all that together, let's get started. Let's start with a four minute warm up. Head rolls up first in three, two, one. Roll your head slowly at the front, right and left. A warm up's important before a workout to increase blood flow to your muscles, get your joints moving, and rev up your cardiovascular system. And it may help reduce the risk of injuries. Next, shoulder rolls forward in three, two, one. As you roll your shoulders forward, you can bend your knees as well here to get them warmed up. Shoulder rolls backward in three, two, one. Right arm rolls forward in three, two, one. Your right arm is straight and it's really reaching up behind you and pulling forward. Right arm rolls backward in three, two, one. Come on, you've got to really stretch and reach that right arm back. Left arm rolls forward in three, two, one. Make sure you're really stretching and reaching up high and bending those knees to lubricate those joints. Left arm rolls backward in three, two, one. As we're warming up here, make sure that you keep breathing throughout your whole routine. Spine rolls forward in three, two, one. You're going to reach up tall, bend your knees, roll forward slowly, vertebra by vertebra, and then slowly roll up again and get a good reach at the top and repeat. Next. Our arms and legs reach to the sides in three, two, one. Tap each leg to the side and with elbows bent, reach each arm to the side with your leg. We're starting to get our heart rate up a little bit here, so keep it strong. Butt kicks are next in three, two, one. You try and kick your butt at the back as your arms reach at chest level and pull back. Take a little dip with those legs so you're warming them up. We're going to keep the butt kicks going, but our arms are going to reach and pull down in three, two, one. Make sure you're really reaching and pulling down. This is your last 30 seconds. So make sure you're putting your all into it and then you'll be ready for your workout.
Your warm up will be finished in three, two, one. Well done. Lots of love to you. Bye bye. Now you're ready for your workout. Go for it. Get your running shoes on for the 12 minute walking cardio. We're going to do 30 seconds of walking, 30 seconds of another move. Let's get started. Walk on spot in three, two, one. Walk on spot and you just take it a bit slower at first and you can start adding a little bit more energy as we get warmer and warmer. Leg taps and arm reaches side to side in three, two, one. Legs tap right and left and the opposite arm reaches to each corner of the room. Walk on spot in three, two, one. Are you starting to feel it? Yes, you're having fun, I can tell. Don't forget to breathe throughout the whole routine. We tend to hold our breath when we're working out. Leg taps and reach front in three, two, one. Legs tap forward as arms reach up overhead. We're gonna add some of the workload here by really pulling down those arms. Walk on spot in three, two, one. Are you adding your own moves, your own hip moves, getting into it? Just have fun with it. Knees up and arms pull down in three, two, one. Again, really pull those arms down to meet either side of your knee to get that heart rate up. And we're working our core here as well when we add those arms and the legs. So hold your tummy tight. Walk on spot in three, two, one. Okay, let's have a little fun. We're gonna walk in a circle on the spot, each direction, swing those hips if you've got it in you. Let's go. Same thing, back the other direction, let's go. Next, we have butt kicks and arms pull at chest level in three, two, one. Try and kick your butt and really pull those arms back at chest level. Remember to keep your arm movements controlled. That helps you do them properly and effectively. Walk on spot in three, two, one. Okay, you've got your heart rate up, so put your all into it. Have a lot of fun, get your own moves going, and keep breathing, don't hold that breath.
Next, we have butt kicks and bicep curls in three, two, one. Hold those elbows tight at your sides and make a fist and pull up strong. Walk on spot in three, two, one. Now we're going to do downstairs, upstairs. You take four steps low, walking downstairs, four steps high, walking upstairs, turn, and do it again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Down, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Keep it going two more times. Side tap, arm reaches in three, two, one. Legs tap side to side and arms stay straight and reach above head. Lots of arms in this workout, so you're working those hard as well. We're going to walk on spot, downstairs, upstairs again in three, two, one. Take it the opposite direction this time, downstairs, upstairs, turn, one, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, turn, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, keep turning, last turn, legs tap back, arms reach forward in three, two, one. Tap your legs back and reach forward with those arms. Yo! Getting in the zone here, having fun. A reminder to have water on hand when you're working out. You can always take a quick break to grab a sip. Walk on spot in three, two, one. We're going to circle each direction for eight steps. Go right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold front. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And hold front. Legs tap forward, arms twist side to side in three, two, one. Legs tap on an angle in front as your arms twist over opposite leg. Great work for the waist here. So hold your tummy tight and you're engaging your brain, getting that coordination going. Walk on spot in three, two, one. We're going to add some arms, hold them straight out and circle forward. Now arms circle back. Next, side steps and arms reach forward in three, two, one. Two steps. Side to side as arms reach in front. Have you got a little hip action? I have to apologize for mine. Oh, but it's so much fun. You're adding core workout here with the arms and the hips moving. Walk on spot in three, two, one. We're going to repeat those circles, walking each direction. Left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hold. 
Next, leg tops and shoulder tops twist in three, two, one. Legs top side to side as you twist as each hand tops your opposite shoulder. We're going to cool down in three, two, one. Legs tap side to side and the arms float side to side. Just start getting your heart rate down here, but keep those legs moving gently. Next, two steps to each side and do a window wash move. In three, two, one. Take two steps to each side and wash a window with your hands. Next, leg taps front and arms float and twist side to side in three, two, one. Legs tap gently, crossing in front as your arms float and twist side to side. Your final cool down move, swing hips and arms float up and down at sides in three, two, one. Just enjoy your last 30 seconds. Get some good long breaths in and out and just cool it all down. We'll be finished in three, two, one. Now we have a 20 minute walking cardio. Grab some water and get yourself hydrated. Walk on spot in three, two, one. Okay, this is gonna be a great workout. Make sure you've got some water handy. We're gonna do a nice little warm up here. Just the legs moving, arms moving a little bit, but wait for the second half. It's a whole different story. So hang around, we're gonna have fun. One step side to side in three, two, one. One step and tap side to side. Keep your arms low, but keep them engaged. Okay, feel the beat. You can add any moves you want anytime. Just have fun. Walk on spot in three, two, one. Still warming up here, so just keep a good beat. Keep your legs moving, keep your arms moving. Two steps side to side, starting with the left side. In three, two, one. Start getting your arms a little bit more involved here. We're building up that heart rate. Let's get going. Walk on spot in three, two, one. 
Time to add some hips. Come on, let's get it moving. When we add our hips, we're engaging our abs more. So keep those abs tight. Change of music coming and we're gonna tap our toes to the front, starting with the left in three, two, one. Okay, we're warmed up enough. Time to start rocking it out. Come on, add some of your moves and let's go. We're gonna walk on spot and add some arms, two up, two down. In three, two, one. Arms punch up for two and down for two. And this is still increasing our heart rate by adding those arms. Two side steps to each side, starting with the left and funk it out in three, two, one. Come on, add your own moves, make it fun, make it funky, whatever you got in you, let it all out. We're gonna walk it out with punching bag arms in three, two, one. Try punching bag arms in front at first, then we'll take it up to the left and the right and do it at your own speed. Keep it going. Keep breathing throughout the whole routine. Give your arms a break before we go into the next move. Three steps forward and top, three steps back and top in three, two, one. Three steps forward and tap and clap and three steps back and tap. Utilize your own space, whether it be small or large, so you can increase your step size depending on the size room that you have. Walk on spot and arms punch up and out in three, two, one. Get a good controlled punch up and out and keep those legs moving and strong. Let's do a grapevine with a clap, starting with the left side in three, two, one. Ha, I got it. Leg behind and grapevine and clap. Come on, fuck it out. Music change and walk on spot in three, two, one. We're gonna add some simple clapping here to start to four corners. Here we go. Clap up each side and down each side. We're going to walk three steps on a diagonal to the left at the front in three, two, one. Three steps forward and clap and tap, and three steps back and tap. If you've got the space, make these some good long steps. Walk on spot and pendulum arms in three, two, one. 
Hold your arms straight out at shoulder height and just dangle them down like pendulums, keeping them strong and controlled. Strong and controlled means you're doing the exercise properly and effectively. Let's take that walking diagonal forward to the right in three, two, one. Four steps forward with a clap and four steps back and tap your foot. Make the most of your space and use whatever you've got to get some good steps in. Next, we walk on spot and power walk in three, two, one. Come on, power it out here. Lift those knees, move those arms, and breathe. Music change coming, and we take one step to each side in a power step, starting with the left in three, two, one. Take a power step to each side. Really use those legs and get ready to add a clap. Here we go. Come on, power those legs. Really take a good step. We're in the fast walking section now and you're gonna feel it in the best possible way. Walk on spot and power punches coming to the corners, starting with the left in three, two, one. Power punch your arms on an angle, left side up and down for two and right side up and down for two. Listen, if anything feels too fast or too much for you, you slow it down and work at your own pace, but keep your legs moving. There's no competition here. Coming up, great fun and rolling arms, starting with the left side in three, two, one. Let's get that grapevine going, leg behind. There we go, and roll your arms. Woo, you're getting a great workout with all these arms and legs today. Way to go, good work. Back to walk on spot and we'll add some arms in three, two, one. Walk on spot, we're gonna punch up for two, shoulder height for two, down for two, and chest for two. Keep those arms strong. We have about 10 minutes left, you can do this. Next, we'll tap our toes across in front and add a twist with our upper body in three, two, one. Tap across in front, twist your upper body, and we're really gonna engage the core here. Hold everything tight. Okay, we had another music change and it's still fast walking, so hang in there. Let's go. Walk on spot, power walking in three, two, one. Come on, get down and dirty here. Feel the beat, lift those legs, move those arms. Go, go, go. We're gonna double tap our feet across in front, starting with the right first in three, two, one. Okay, get the legs going first, and then we're gonna add those arms in a punch for two, and other side for two. Come on, work it, and don't hold that breath. Come on, keep breathing. We're gonna power walk on spot in three, two, one. 
Go, 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 go. Let's power it out. Listen for that clapping and let's join in. Now. Now left side. Bottom right. Bottom left. Good job. Now let's power our legs. Two steps side to side, starting with the left. In three, two, one. Use your legs, power it side to side, and let's go crazy. Come on, get your own moves in there. Do whatever you like, have fun. Whoa, great job. Okay, we're going to walk on spot in three, two, one. Okay, the music changed, but the tempo is still fast. Woohoo! Keep it going. Power walk and use those arms. Next, two taps, front and back, starting with the left leg in three, two, one. Two taps each leg in front, add our arms punching forward, and two taps back with our arms going back. You can raise those arms up a bit higher at the front if you want to add more of a workout. Okay, we're gonna walk on spot and have a breather in three, two, one. Take those arms up and down, breathing in and out and give yourself a break. We're going to do leg tap side to side in three, two, one. Okay, I'm getting silly here. Let's just point up to the corners of the room and have fun with it. Let's go. Lower your legs a little bit here if you can to get more power in those legs. Okay, music change, but tempo stays fast. Last song fast in three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna walk on spot and twist that upper body again. Great for your abs, so hold your tummy tight. Next, Knees lift up and arms pull down beside legs, starting with the right leg in three, two, one. Just take your arms halfway here and push them down beside your knees. Also great core workout, so keep those abs tight. Okay, anybody got any air guitar? <laughs> okay, come on, you can do it, let's go. Walk on spot in three, two, one. Okay, if you've got anything left in your legs, power your legs low for four and up for four. Oh, this is such a great fat burning workout. Opposite elbow to knee. In three, two, one. Come on, power those legs up and take your elbow to your knee. If you want more power, you can take your arms up higher. Now arms low for four and higher for four. Low, two, three, four and high for four. Okay, there's a music change and it's gonna slow down and we're going to walk on spot in three, two, one. 
Okay, just get the beat here, slow it down and walk it out and add that clap. Okay, we're going to grapevine left in three, two, one. Grapevine and add that clap. We're going to walk on spot and add some biceps in three, two, one. Arms straight out at side shoulder level and make a fist and pull those arms in. We're going to do a combo move, one step to each side, starting with the left, and then a walk around in three, two, one. One step to each side for four, and then walk around to the left in eight. And repeat on the other side. Now walk around. and just stay front, tapping side to side. Now we're going to walk on spot in three, two, one. We've only got a minute left, so let's just cool it all down here. Have fun with it, and if you've got anything left in the tank, you can take your legs a bit low here and a bit high. Music change for your final 30 seconds. Tap side to side in three, two, one. Just gently tap side to side and when we got the beat, we're gonna add a snap with our fingers. We're going to be finished this fabulous workout in three, two, one. Good workout. I hope you had a lot of fun. The last cardio is 15 minutes. Stay hydrated and have fun. Okay, everyone, let's walk on spot to start our warm up. This walking cardio is going to challenge not only your legs, but your arms and your abs as well. So make sure you work at your own pace and just keep those legs moving if something is too much for you. Single toe taps in front, starting with the right leg in three, two, one. Get the toe taps going first and then we're gonna add a punch with our arms in front. Let's just get everything lubricated, the heart rate up a little bit, because we're gonna pump it up before you know it. Walk on spot in three, two, one. Just walk on spot here as we're still warming it up. It's a great idea to have water handy when you're working out to keep you hydrated. Toe taps to each side, starting with the right leg in three, two, one. Get your toe taps going first and then you're gonna add single arm punches across your body. Start putting a bit more energy into this and get that heart rate up.
Walk on spot in three, two, one. Walk on spot and pump up those arms a bit more now because we're about to pick up the pace and start working harder. Next, we have a music change the tempo picks up and we take a step to each side, starting with the right in three, two, one. Legs step to each side, then add go-go arms. They're straight in front, keep them strong. And now we're really pumping it up. You can feel your energy building, getting ready for a great cardio workout. Walk on spot in three, two, one. Walk on spot here. You have your energy up, you're feeling good, you've got a smile on your face, and you're proud of yourself for getting this workout in today. Woohoo! Way to go! Next, we're going to do a single leg butt kick starting with the right in three, two, one. Right arm on waist, right leg kicks behind, and your left arm reaches back to your foot. This helps improve your coordination. Let's take that to the left leg, get it going first, and then the right hand comes back and meets your foot. We're going to walk on spot in three, two, one. Now keeping your arms strong, we're gonna reach them overhead and then chest press in front. Do you have a little hip action going here? Come on, add your own style. Next, we'll add two steps to the right and left and add a clap in three, two, one. Take two steps to the right and clap, and two steps to the left and clap. Woohoo! I got it. I know you've got it too. Tempo is going to pick up just a bit with a music change, and we're going to walk on spot in three, two, one. Time to power up those legs. Lift those knees up a bit higher and power out those arms. Let's go, go, go. Come on. Butt kick starting with your right leg in three, two, one. Get those legs going and then we're gonna add a bicep curl. Keep those elbows close to your body, hold your arms strong and pull up. Keep it strong, have fun with it and keep breathing. Next, we're going to walk on spot but with downstairs, upstairs legs in three, two, one. Take your legs down for four and up for four. Turn right, do it again. Keep turning. Down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. Let's go back around to the left. Butt kicks starting with right leg in three, two, one. Get your legs going first and then arms pull down from overhead to shoulder height. Keep them strong.
Walk on spot in three, two, one. We're going to add a punch to the front, left angle, front, right angle. Join in when you can and keep it going. Music change and we're going to do single knee lifts with your right leg starting in three, two, one. Right knee pulls up on an angle in front. When you've got that going, add your arms pulling down beside your leg. You'll feel it in your legs and abs here. Keep your abs tight. We're going to take that to the left side now. Walk on spot in three, two, one. Let's power it out here. Keep those legs strong and really power those arms up. Come on, let's go. Are we still smiling? I know you've got it in you. Next is double knees each side, starting with the right leg in three, two, one. Get double knees each side going first and then add arms down for two and down for two. Keep it strong. We're going to walk on spot and add some hips in three, two, one. Get those fabulous hips of yours swinging first, and then you're gonna to turn to the right and walk it around on the spot. Now hold front, and then we're gonna take it back around to the left. Next is skater legs. You're gonna tap your foot behind each opposite heel, starting with the right in three, two, one. Get your legs tapping behind first and then your arms naturally swing from side to side and then add a snap when you're ready. Now take your legs a bit wider. It's gonna work you harder. Come on, you've got this. Music change and walk on spot in three, two, one. Once you've got your legs going here, we're gonna add arms punching up once, forward once, and side twice. We're going to tap our feet across in front, starting with the right leg in three, two, one. Once you've got the taps across in front, add your hand to your opposite shoulder and tap, and add a tap to your butt on the same side behind. This is good work for your brain, your waist, and your coordination. We're going to walk on spot and then add some arms in three, two, one. Start walking, your arms are at shoulder height, palms back, pulse back. You're working your arms and your upper back here. Keep it strong, don't go back too far. And keep breathing, you're working hard here. We'll take one step to each side, starting with your right in three, two, one. Get your legs going first. Add your arms when you're ready in a swinging bicep curl. Keep your elbows close to your body. Okay, can you power your legs here? Step a bit wider, a bit lower. You can do it.
we have a music change and walk on spot in three, two, one. Let's power up those arms and legs here. Come on, power it up. If you need a little break, grab a quick sip of water. Water gives you energy to keep you going. We're going to take two steps to each side, starting with the right, and then we'll add arms in three, two, one. Two steps right and clap, two steps left and clap, and power punch, one, two, three, clap, one, two, three, clap. Keep it strong, keep breathing, lower your legs a little bit if you can here to get more power and strength in your legs. Go, go, go. We're going to walk on spot in three, two, one. Walk on spot with power legs and arms. Come on, we've got one more minute until we start cooling it down. So keep it strong. Time flies when you're having fun. We're going to cross tap right toe in front in three, two, one. Get that right leg tapping across in front. Get it strong now. Really power up your arms and keep it strong. Let's go. This is your last 30 seconds of power moves. Change to the left leg. Get your left leg strong. Now add those arms. Come on, let's go. We're gonna slow it down with cool down music in three, two, one. Walk on spot and snap your fingers up and clap in front. I added a minute to this workout to cool you down a bit more, so it's actually 16 minutes. We have a little combo move starting with two steps to the right in three, two, one. Two steps to the right and clap, and to the left and clap. Now four taps, two, three, four. Now walk right for two and clap. Left for two and clap. Now four taps with a snap. Three, four, you've got it. Walk on spot in three, two, one. Walk on spot, get your hips moving, get some rolling arms going. Now let's walk around to the right on the spot. And now back to the left. For our last 30 seconds, we'll take two steps to the right and left in three, two, one. Take two steps to the right and clap and left and clap and just enjoy your last 20 seconds. Good for you to take the time to get this workout in today. You should be feeling great for the rest of the day. We'll be finished in three, two, one. enjoyed that workout. You might want to keep your legs moving just a little bit for now. Great work everyone. Now make sure you stay and finish it off with this 10 minute cool down stretch. You're going to need it after all that cardio. You can take your shoes off if you wish. Enjoy. We're going to do a 10 minute cool down stretch. I suggest you have a chair close by for this. We're just going to do a couple of things that require a bit of balance so it will be easier for you. Let's get started. To start, gently sway your hips side to side. Stretch your arms overhead, breathing in, and breathe out as your arms come down. This cool down is ideal after a, a great cardio workout 
or really any workout, just to cool you down and stretch you out. We'll do most moves for about 30 seconds each. Now float your arms side to side and have a pause in the middle. Keep your knees relaxed and your pelvis slightly tucked under. And keep breathing, don't hold that breath. Now take your arms in front, your left arm goes over your right, interlocking your arms, put your palms together and push up. You'll feel a stretch in your upper back. We'll take it to the other side, your right arm goes over your left, palms together and push up. Now turn sideways so you can see what the next moves are without straining your neck. Take your arms behind your back, clasp your hands together and pull your arms down and you feel a stretch in your shoulders. Keep your knees relaxed here. Keeping your hands clasped behind your back, bend your knees. You're going to roll forward vertebra by vertebra and take those arms up, straight up to the ceiling and hold that stretch. You'll feel a stretch in the back of your legs as well here. If you find this too difficult, stay in the previous position, standing with your arms clasped behind your back. Now carefully and slowly unclasp your hands, bring your arms down in front of you, take hold of either elbow and pull the elbows in. You'll feel a stretch in your arms, back and legs. You can sway slightly side to side here if that feels good for you. Now slowly and carefully release your arms, place them on the floor. You're going to widen your legs, much wider than hip distance, toes forward, and simply hold the stretch down. If you can't reach the floor, that's okay. Go where is comfortable for you. You'll get more flexible over time. Now we're going to stretch to the right. Take your hands to your right ankle or as far as you can reach and hold the stretch there. You're going to feel these stretches up the backs of your legs. Remember to keep breathing. Now slowly walk your hands to the left side and take hold of your left ankle and hold the stretch. Don't worry too much about where you can or cannot reach. Your flexibility will improve over time the more that you do it. Now we're going to walk our hands back over to the right side and do an inner thigh stretch for the left leg. Bend your right knee, you stretch your left leg out until you feel a good stretch on your inner thigh of your left leg and hold. Be sure to keep that right knee over your ankle and not hyperextend it past your toes. To help do that, push your butt back rather than leaning forward too far. Let's walk our hands over to the left side and we'll do an inner thigh stretch on the right leg. Push your bottom back to help keep your knee in proper alignment over your ankle.
Now walk your hands to the center and then walk your feet in together till they're hip width apart. Bend your knees and we're going to roll up vertebra by vertebra and take a good stretch at the top. Roll up slowly, we've been upside down for a while. If you feel a bit dizzy, just hold on to your chair. Clasp your hands when you get to the top and hold for a good stretch and keep breathing. Now let's get our chairs. We're going to need it for balance. Hold the chair with your left hand, get a little pelvic tilt, bend your right knee, take your left leg up on your right thigh, hold it with your right hand, and you're gonna feel a little hip opener stretch in your left hip. To feel more of a stretch in your hip, bend your right knee a little bit more, push your butt back a bit more. You'll feel the difference. I know stretches can feel intense, so keep breathing. We're going to release the left leg carefully. We're gonna bend and pelvic tilt again. We're going to pick up the right leg and we're gonna do a quad stretch. Use resistance here as if your right leg is trying to come forward, but your right hand is preventing it from going forward. And then you'll really feel a good stretch in that quad. Now we're going to do all that on the other side. So with your right hand on the chair, bend your knees, pelvic tilt, take that right leg up onto your left thigh and hold. Remember to bend your left knee a bit more and push your butt back a bit and you'll feel even more of a stretch in your right hip. Let's release that right leg, reset the pelvic tilt and bend in your knee. And we're going to hold the left leg bent and do the quad stretch on that side. Remember to use the resistance. You're pushing your leg forward and you're resisting it from going forward with your left hand. Okay, we're finished with the chair. So you can put that aside or step aside from it. And now we're gonna do some shoulder rolls. Just simply roll your shoulders back all the way up and back and keep them fluid. And now we'll reverse that and roll your shoulders forward. Stretching is very important in our daily lives. It can improve flexibility and ultimately give you a better range of motion of your joints. This helps improve your performance in daily life and may help reduce the risk of injuries. Now we're going to do semicircle head rolls to the right and left. Roll your head to the right and then come back to the left and keep repeating. Take your time here. Now our last move will be the same as we started this routine. Just gently sway your hips and breathe in, stretching up and out on the way down. And keep it going here, just take your time and enjoy. And we'll be finished in three seconds. Well done. Hope you feel a little bit more stretched out and relaxed. I'd love to get your comments. So please, could you like, comment, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you receive notifications for any future videos. 
As always, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for watching. Lots of love to you. Bye-bye.